Tia Mori is punching the air right now. Corey Hardrick says he's back outside following 14-year marriage to Tia Mori as she reveals her HOE face. Actor Corey Hardrick is starring in a new film called Divorce in the Black, directed by Hollywood power player Tyler Perry. His co-star is Devorke Megan Good. While promoting the movie during the American Black Film Festival, Hardrick shared that his role helped him out as he navigated his recent split and the end of his marriage to Tia Mori. He joked he's back outside, leading many to think that he might be ready to start dating. The extremely private All-American, Homecoming star joined Good on a press day at the festival and sat with Balor Alert's Angie B to promote their project. Divorce in the Black is a thriller where a young bank professional becomes devastated when her husband abandons their marriage before all the twists and turns they learn about each other after he leaves. Hardrick says Perry called him personally to play the role of the husband, who he declares is nothing like him. Has playing Dallas, his character in the movie, helped you heal or had any type of revelation on your personal life? Angie B. asked, Hardick was very careful in how he answered, saying, I would say that the character Dallas and Corey, like, they're in no way like the same. But this character is out there in the world, he added. So, I felt like when I look at a character, I see what could I bring to it. Some type of authenticity. Some rawness. Some truths. I felt like it was all there, so, like I said, without getting into, like, my personal life, I just feel like we all go through things in life and sometimes you need outlets. Hardrick continued, This film was a big outlet for me to get it all out and put it all into to the camera. So, every emotion that I was channeling during you know those times I was able to display, it was real and it was honest, he explained. We all felt it on set. All our performances were honest because you know we have those emotions built up, and that's what was so great about doing this movie. Then he burst out and said, So, yeah, it helped me out. I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm outside. Listen, I'm excited. I ain't been outside in 10 years. He later clarified, saying he is not really outside, but that he is working. One person in the YouTube comment section said, Tamori is punching the air right now, referencing his ex-wife, who has been very public about her post-marriage life, including staring at a new reality series about what's next for her. Unlike her ex, Mori is outside and loves playing with the public. Last month, she made fan believe she had a new boo after having a friend seductively feed her a pickle on camera. Recently, she made a post about entering her HOE phase on Instagram. While the colloquial use of the word is derogatory, the newly divorced twin has found a way to repurpose the term. For her, it means happiness over everything, something that all are trying to achieve in this new era of their lives. Many believe that Perry exploited both Hardrick and Good's recent divorces. Devin Franklin, 45, and Good, 42, tied the knot in June 2012 but their marriage ended in June 2022 following Franklin's 2021 filing, which cited irreconcilable differences. In a similar narrative, Maury announced to the world in October 2022 her decision to part ways with Hardrick, finalizing their marriage of 14 years in April 2023. But the two openly Christian men have been very respectful not to blame their former partners or jump into the dating pool too easily. Rachel Lindsay shares Tia Mori's best advice amid divorce from Brian Abasolo. Lindsay expressed a desire to focus on genuine self-care rather than superficial distractions like socializing and traveling. And teach ice a r t i c l e. Rachel Lindsay opens up about healing journey amid divorce challenges. Rachel Lindsay finds strength in self-care amid transition. In a recent exclusive interview with E! News, Rachel Lindsay opened up about the valuable advice she received from actress Tia Mori amid her ongoing divorce from Brian Abasolo. The former Bachelorette star revealed that Mori's words have been instrumental in helping her navigate through this challenging time in her life. Lindsay, who met Abasolo on The Bachelorette and married him in 2019, 
revealed that her greatest fear has always been losing control. But she discovered comfort and a feeling of freedom in Mari's advice, which emphasizes living in the present moment instead of thinking too much about the past or future worries. Rachel Lindsay opens up about healing journey amid divorce challenges. She gave advice during the interview to not worry about the future because it can induce anxiety and to not linger on the past since it can hold you back. Rather, concentrate on each day as it arises, as every day you survive makes you more resilient. Lindsay found great resonance in these remarks, particularly given her current emotional turmoil following her divorce. Despite the challenges she faces, Lindsay emphasized that she is actively prioritizing her own well-being. She has embraced activities such as meditation, prayer, exercise, and spending quality time with family and friends to heal from within. Lindsay expressed a desire to focus on genuine self-care rather than superficial distractions like socializing and traveling. I know people see me out and about, and that is true. Lindsay clarified, yes, hanging out with friends is healing. Yes, traveling is healing, but it's superficial. I really want to do the work from within. Lindsay expressed sorrow for her first decision to forego pursuing a prenuptial agreement with Abbasolo as she thought back on her previous choices. She clarified that she didn't want the argument over a prenuptial agreement to get worse because, at the time of their marriage, their finances were more equal. Lindsay does concede, though, that she could have been better shielded from life's uncertainties if she had a prenuptial agreement. Lindsay acknowledged that looking back, she now realizes she couldn't have foreseen getting a divorce in 2024. She added that in life, you never know what surprises or challenges lie ahead. Additional difficulties arising from the divorce proceedings without a solo include court cases concerning living arrangements and spousal maintenance. Living together in Los Angeles at the moment, Lindsay described Abbasolo's relationship as tense and uncomfortable. Lindsay has been asked to provide Abbasolo with financial support so that he can relocate out of their shared apartment. Rachel Lindsay finds strength in self-care amid transition. Lindsay has had difficulties, but she has persevered and is now positive about the future. She argued that prioritizing herself is not selfish but rather essential to her well-being and personal development. Lindsay believes that Mari's counsel helped her find her inner strength and perseverance as she continues to move through this time of change. Her experience serves as a helpful reminder of the value of taking care of oneself and being in the moment when things are unpredictable and changing.